Hey guys, this is a new update for XBSX2, the PS2 standalone emulator that was uh, forked and worked on. It got an update, so links to the downloads will be in the description, of course, but uh, I don't think it's on retail just yet, but if, if it does have a retail version, I'll put it in the description as well. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know that... Uh, this these uh, this is the change log and we don't usually get change logs for emulators in readable fashion so uh they altered the cursor color so that it's not sore in the eyes i guess uh the description for most options have been altered to make more sense most on screen display messages now have icons new home and splash screen icon thanks dust Shader support on Enhancements tab, FXAA Shade Boost, which allows users to alter the game's brightness, contrast, and saturation colors. That's pretty cool. I didn't think you could do that on PS2. Uh, several CR CRT filters and uh, networking features are now enabled by default, thanks to Reverie for the suggestion and relevant information. And last but not least, input remapping is now fixed, thanks to Spectrum. Like I said, the links will be in the description. Uh, hopefully you guys update just fine. And that's going to be it for this video. I don't usually do update videos like this, but it's a special emulator. So, <laughs> if you guys liked it, be sure to like that button, <laughs> subscribe, comment below, tell me what you thought. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.